Hi, welcome back to Tony's Cool Tools. And if it's your first time, thanks for stopping. So today's video is going to be a short one. However, if you stick around to the end, I'll have a bonus for you. In today's world, it seems everything runs on batteries, like my watch battery, my cell phone, even the GoPro camera that I'm running uses batteries as well as the mics. You can't get away from it. And everything is fine until the batteries don't work. So spring is an awesome time of the year. However, it's also a frustrating time of the year for me. That's when I pull out my boat, my riding lawnmower, and even my dump trailer and find out something won't start or the battery is dead. And I don't know if it's the battery or something else. Out of curiosity, I counted the number of batteries that I have to maintain yearly, and I couldn't believe it. I'm taking care of 13 different batteries, and I'm talking about my pickup truck, my minivan, my UTV, ATVs, dump trailer boats, and some other stuff. So as you can see, that's a lot of batteries. And even my Bluetti solar generator is nothing more than a large battery that has electronics attached to it. Now the two things that kill most batteries are extreme heat and extreme cold. And here in Wisconsin, we have plenty of both of those. And typically, depending on which battery you buy, they last anywhere between two and five years. <laughs> Unless you get some of the newer ones, the AGM type batteries, and they have a longer life expectancy. With the number of batteries that I have to maintain every year, I have to buy at least one to two batteries. And before I do that, I want to make sure what the problem is. So for the last 40 years, I've been using this Silver Beauty tester. Nothing special, but it does work pretty good. Here's a tip that I've learned over the years, and that is by using a trickle charger like this, it extends the life of the batteries. They're very inexpensive. Now, I get these from Harbor Freight, and I have about a half a dozen of them, and I just keep switching them around. Every couple of months, I'll switch it to a different battery, so I don't have to have one for each battery. But they do work. So when the folks from Foxwell contacted me and asked me if I wanted to test their battery analyzer, I let them know I was not a mechanic and that I probably wouldn't be using most of the functions that this thing has on it. But if it was a battery tester and it was easy, I was all up for trying to test it. So Foxwell sent me their BT780 analyzer. And it does come with a nice case, as you see here, to protect the instrument, as well as instructions, a fast start kit here. You get cables, which are extremely long, 74 inches, and I'll explain why that's important in a little bit. You also get a thumb drive here to update any of the information for the unit in future times or later on in the year. You get the instrument, which is right here, and you get these rolls of paper. And I'll explain those in just a minute. As you can tell, this is a very compact instrument and it's very well protected on the outside rubberized case here. Now this is designed to do both 12 volt and 24 volt batteries, but it can read from six volt to 32 volt. And that's the flooded batteries, the old style flooded batteries that use electrolyte, or the new AGM and the gel type batteries as well. And one real nice thing about the tester is the fact that I can either test it inside the vehicle, or if I remove the battery, I can do it outside the vehicle or on a bench. So not only will this BT780 analyze my battery, but it will also test my charging system and my cranking system. And if I happen to be working at a dealership and there were multiple technicians there, this can identify them by technician one, two, or three inside this unit so you know who to go to. And lastly, it prints everything out for you. Now that's a function I probably will not be using, but if you are a technician, you can print it off and you can give it to your customer. That's why you get three extra rolls of paper here. So if you can press a button, and scroll up and down, that's all it takes to use this analyzer. 
So let's see how good this tester really is. These batteries here are dead. I've had them in my garage or in my pole building for the last couple of years. They've been sitting on concrete, so I know they're pretty well drained out. Let's see what kind of reading we get. Now the first thing is, you're gonna have to have a couple of bits of information because it's gonna ask you, the meter is gonna ask you for this. First of all, it's gonna ask you for the cold cranking power or cold cranking amps, and you can find that on the tag right on top of the battery. Second thing it's gonna ask you is if it's a top post or side post. This one happens to be a top post. And even though the unit does have an on-off button, the minute you, you clamp, you put the clamp on, it automatically turns it on. So let me bring you closer in to show you what questions they're gonna ask and how easy this is. It's super intuitive. So let's test this battery. Since I know it's a dead battery, let's see what the meter or the instrument says. Basically, when I hook up the alligator clips, it shows it at 0.74 volt or virtually nothing in it. Now, if you happen to reverse the polarity and put the alligator clips on the wrong posts, it will tell you, please reverse. So the first thing we do is we just go to the menu we're going to be doing a battery test, which is the first one. We're going, uh, I'm technician one. As I said, there is up to three different technicians that could be entered in here. This is a regular battery, not an AGM or a gel style. We're doing the CCA or the cold cranking amp test. This battery is 650 cold cranking amp. I took that directly off the tag from the battery. Um, this is, uh, I do not know the serial number on this. And here's our test. Let's see what it says. It says connect to a uh, 12 volt battery. Since this is totally dead, there, I can't get a reading on it. So, so far, it's a real good tester. Okay, not only will the BT-780 do vehicles, but it'll do UTV, ATVs, and riding lawnmowers. This battery I just replaced about uh, three or four months ago. Let's test it out and see where it's at. So we just have to hit enter for battery. I'm technician number one. It is outside the vehicle. It's a regular top post battery. Top post right here. It's a regular style battery, not a gel. It's cold cranking amps I'm looking for. It's 350 cold cranking marked on the battery. And I do not have the serial number. And it's testing it as we speak here. And it's coming out that this is a good battery, 12.68 volts with 328 measurable uh, cold cranking amps and it's rated at 350. So I need to charge this up a little bit or just run the mower a little more. I previously mentioned that the length of the cable is 74 inches. Let me explain why that's so important here. You have to do multiple tests with this, which means you'd have to get jump in and out of the vehicle to do it. But with these long cables, all I do is hook it up to the battery and now I can take this and put it inside the vehicle and do all my testing. I don't have to keep running outside and hitting all the buttons. Okay, we previously did an out of the vehicle battery test. Now we're gonna do an in the battery or in the car battery test as well as a charging system test. I've attached my cables to the battery and the system, as I say before, the tester is going to ask for specific information that you have to have beforehand, like how many cold cranking amp is noted on the battery, as well as if it's a top post or side post. So here's the test as we do it inside the vehicle. I go to the main menu here and do battery test. I'm technician one. This is inside the vehicle. It's a regular battery, top post. It's a regular, not a gel battery or an AGM. It is 
uh, it's asking me for CCA or cold cranking amp test. And I have an 800 amp uh, battery or 800 amp rated battery here in this vehicle. I took that right off the battery. I do not have a serial number. And now within seconds, we'll get the reading. It's a good battery at 12, 12.74, 969 on the cold cranking, and this is an 800, so this is a very good battery. Now we're gonna go with the charging system test. It's asking me to start the test. So it's asking me to start the engine. The volts are 12.11. Here's the output without a load on it. It's asking me to rev the engine. Now it's asking me to put it on load so that it wants me to turn on the lights and the blower motor on high. It's asking for me to rev the engine with load on. Now it's asking me to turn the lights off and turn the blower motor off. And here's my findings. 14.42 with no load, loaded 14.39, and the ripple, which is the sine wave, is 35. Now when I'm through with this, all I have to do is hit the print, and it prints all my findings for me right here for a sheet, even though I don't need this, but if you're at a dealership, this is a nice way of showing your customer all the findings that you have. Now, Foxwell makes a variety of different testers. And I will have the contact information for Foxwell in the info section below. So if you've stuck around this long, I told you I'd have a bonus, and that is the folks at Foxwell have given me one tester to give to one of my subscribers. And naturally, there are only two requirements. First, you have to be a subscriber to my channel. And second, just write the word Foxwell anywhere in your comment. Just the one word, Foxwell. And on July 10th at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time, I will be picking the winner of this. And the retail value on it is $260. So it's a pretty awesome giveaway. Hopefully you found this video informative and entertaining. And if so, please like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up as well. And remember, pass it forward. Make the world a better place. And don't be a tool. Watch Tony's Cool Tools.